I've got the eight gigabyte model. And if you have multiple applications running, for example, I have switching screens right now. Look how slow that is. I have Epic Games Launcher on the screen. Um, switching over, I have Activity Monitor. Look how slow that is. Switching, switching. Once it's buffered it into memory, it's all right. Switching, switching. I have Chrome. I have loads of Chrome tabs. Let's try switching a tab. Wait, 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 wait. It's got the spinning wheel of, of whatever them. It hasn't switched yet. It's taken a very long time, and that's because I have the eight gigabyte model of the M1. I'm hoping that the 16 gigabyte model would run slightly better. You can look into Activity Monitor when it launches up. That over here, I have around three and a half gigabytes of compressed RAM being used, one gigabytes of wired RAM being used, and two and a half being used for app memory. However, in total, it's around seven gigabytes being used. So what's happening is every single time I'm switching screens, it has to uncompress the RAM from the compressed area back into live memory, and then you can see it running and it runs fluid once it's, uh, okay, it runs fluid once it's been uncompressed and used over switching of the Xcode. Once I get Xcode on the screen, it's uncompressing the RAM, trying to get into live state memory, and then once it's there, it's usable. So yeah, hopefully 16 gigabytes will run better, but let me show you how it performs on the 16 inch. Now 16 inch over here has 32 gigabytes RAM. I'm just gonna switch controls. And as you can see, it's a lot more fluid. Even switching tabs, it's a lot faster, as you can see right there. And that's because I have 32 gigabytes RAM and that gives it the freedom to keep the application's memory live and uncompressed and usable. So the first thing I'll say is, if you are a heavy duty kind of user and uh, you have lots of applications running at the same time, then yeah, get more RAM because this is a live use case and why you need more RAM. That being said, I'm gonna give you the controls as to why maybe you won't need the more extra RAM. For example, if I were to stop this build right now, as you can see, it is boom, shakalaka, usable again initially when I bought this guy, the reason why I got the base model is I wanted to use it mainly as a media center, but because I found that it performed pretty, pretty good, I started doing more and more crazy stuff on it. And as you can see, that ran into that limitation. But on the pure media center use case, I was a bit disappointed that it only offers one gigabit ethernet. So that means I'll need to have an adapter to make it run 10 GBE because ideally I want that hooked up on the network, just doing all this kind of intelligent stuff on my NAS drive, I don't really trust my NAS fully to run the applicate, to run operations on it. Kind of like having an intelligent computer talking to it. So gigabit ethernet is pretty sad. I hope Apple will address this and make a 10 GBE version like it does for the Intel versions. But that aside, and maybe the eight gigabytes RAM aside, and maybe the 512 gigabyte hard drive, is 512 enough? It's, it's, it's not enough, but the good thing about these, they're not mobile computers. So you can just plug in an external drive and most of the applications will work. Most being not all. For example, I tried running Parallels 16, obviously it's beta, and uh, getting Windows virtualization, it wasn't detecting the SSD, the external one. So for some niche use cases, it won't recognize the external SSD until they fully ported the applications. But in general, you can just plug in an external SSD. So if I was you guys, I wouldn't upgrade the SSD. I just upgrade the RAM if you're doing crazy stuff like I just showed you. So you can see right there on the 16 inch, it's flying through the build. Let's see how fast it takes to compile one more file. Boom, just compiled. Another file. Boom, another file is just compiled. Whereas on the M1, yeah, nothing is moving. It is, it's gonna take forever. It's been on that file for a long, long time. So I need to go back and think, do I wanna do professional development on this Mac mini? computer, like super professional development, and on your kind of stupidity. I probably don't, but I do want a machine that I can throw lots of apps on it, and I could throw lots of apps on it on the eight gigabyte edition. However, I don't know if in about a year's time, eight gigabytes will be enough for me. So I'm in this decision-making mode where if I should return this one and upgrade to the 16 gigabyte model, or should I just use this one for the next year, figure it out, and then by then they'll probably have a Mac Mini Pro with an M2, and that will just outperform this by 10x. So why did I spend 50% more when I could have just used that 50% to just buy a brand new system? So I'm just in this decision-making mode where I need to know if I should get the 8 gigabyte model, keep this one, or the 16 gigabyte model. 
I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys are thinking out there. I'm leaning towards just keeping this unit because instead of spending the ridiculous prices for RAM upgrades and SSD upgrades, I can just save that and just get a new system in six months or a year's time when they have the proper pro M2 sort of situation machines and I probably want one of those. Or do I just know that I'm gonna be frustrated with eight gigabytes and just pay extra money now to avoid the frustrations. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Hope you found this real life kind of like experience of developing on the M1 Mac Mini. Again, it runs pretty much exactly the same as the MacBook Pro. One thing I love about this guy, it's been silent. I've been using it, silent, quiet, all this kind of stuff. One thing I hate about it is the one gigabit ethernet. I wish they had a 10 GBE model. I wish, 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 wish they had that because that would just make me keep it. But for now, I'm, oh, and if they had user upgradable RAM, boy, hey, that would have been good. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show.